Alright guys, I am here on my desktop and we're going to talk about how to set up this Turtle Beach headset to sound really good on your computer because Windows doesn't default very well. So if you just go here to the search and we can just type in like speaker and you'll see this manage audio devices comes up. So you'll see all the playback devices right here. And so here's the second output, Realtek. If I double click or hit properties, either one, I will come here to some extra settings. There's levels, so I can, you know, set um, the microphone uh, or speaker volume. Um, this right here is the key, guys. So you see how it says 2 channel, 32 bit, 192 hertz. This is the. Uh, audio sampling rate that's what they call it now this is showing 32 bit 192 kilohertz 192,000 hertz or 192 kilohertz as a max but here's the thing if you don't install the right driver you may only get 32 and 44 right here so I'm gonna just close this out because I've got my settings so you need to install the gigabyte uh, Realtek. Well, I've got a gigabyte motherboard, so you need to install the Realtek driver. Now, if you install the Windows 10 one, you're going to get an app that's called this Realtek Audio Console. So if I open it up, this is what you got. So like here's the main. You've got volumes and various things. There's your digital output, and unless you're using it, there's not going to be anything there. So this is this Turtle Beach is an analog headset. I have speakers, so this would actually be for my speakers. If I want to get to my headset, I'm on the second output here. Now, once I've installed this, you see the default format, I can set it here too. This will set both in Windows and here, but I prefer to set settings here in the in the Realtek app. So bam, I've got it maximum rate. That is really important for getting the most out of this headset. If you don't set this to the highest format, you will be missing out. Now, some of some people might say, well, you can't really hear above 4800 hertz, 24 bits. I kind of disagree. I feel like I can definitely hear a difference. Maybe somewhere around like 192,000 hertz and 24 bits, it's starting to be a little harder to tell. But if you pull up a FLAC file, I think you can still tell the difference. So, yeah, recommend going as high as you can go. It's not going to hurt your processing power any. Um, on this particular, you can see here, I've already set an equalizer, Elite Atlas. Bam. I even named it. Um, it was interesting. So you can see I didn't have to mess with really any of the equalizations towards the higher frequencies. They all sound great. and uh, But once I get to about here, I started bulk boosting the bass. And then here, boosted the bass more. Now this is like normal bass frequency. This guy here, and I, I mentioned, I point this out in my review video, but this guy here, I've never heard it make a difference on sound until this Turtle Beach headset. Like, I was listening to that um, violin dubstep music, and I could actually hear resonance increase big time by boosting it. So I boosted it pretty high. 12 was just like eh, a little, you know, 10 might be high for most people. And you might like 8. Well, I doubt it. Probably 10s. A lot of people might just go 12. But this Turtle Beach headset can handle this frequency on the equalizer. It just thrilled me to be able to hear that. It was great. So yeah, these are kind of the settings you'll need to set. Um, Microphone-wise, I'm actually using the headset while I'm doing a screen capture. So you'll notice I put just a slight boost. 20 was really loud, so 10 was nice just to make that voice come through a little more clear. Um, main volume all the way up. You can also set a bit rate, uh, you know, an audio resolution rate for the microphone. And, you know, once again, I would still recommend, even if you can't technically hear the difference, that still go as high as you can go because it's not going to hurt the performance of your computer. Now, this is the Windows 10 app. Let's go ahead and jump over to my other test bench because I could not get this app to install and show you what the Windows 7 app looks like because it's a good backup option if you can't get the Realtek Windows 10 app to work. All right, so I jumped over here to the Gigabyte website for my motherboard. So yeah, I have the X470 Aorus Gaming 7. And so when you get to the home page, this is what it looks like. And if you come over here to this little support tab, you can see all the drivers. So 
here it is to the audio is the first one and you'll notice that there's this Realtek audio driver which is the Windows 10 version 1903 supported in fact that released recently I'll have to try that and see if it worked um, so the driver I tried to install was not working at all I could not get the you know if I come down here and I type in Realtek you'll see folders but you won't see the app the app is it just wouldn't install not on this board oops so I downloaded the Windows 7 one and you can actually download this Windows 7 64-bit driver um, you can just download it and install it on Windows 10 so when you install a Windows 7 app you'll see the typical Realtek HD audio manager and if you guys are using Windows 7 then this is the the task the program you're looking for running in the taskbar double click that you'll bring your settings up here so as you can see we're on speakers um, it's because I have my headset plugged into the back panel on this particular case because I don't have speakers hooked in my test bench so yeah coming here to sound effects here you'll see on the equalizer I'm using Elite Atlas um, you got to change to a pre if you click on if you click on the down arrow you can do all these presets and then if you click here you can use like one of these little quick shortcuts and stuff but if you want to actually manually change the EQ you click on that little bar here and then I did the same thing as on my other computer 10 4 and 2 on the base to really boost that up and so that way you can adjust that EQ um, once again here's your default format like even on this computer with a better motherboard if I don't install this Realtek um, you know the other the Windows 10 app because it kept failing I could not come to the full 32 bits 192,000 Hertz quality now notice how on this app though it's all out of order 32 bits 190 192,000 Hertz is your best quality even though they all say studio quality this is gonna be your highest um, you know you want the highest Hertz you can get so yeah same thing with the microphone you come here default format it has it here this time in better order though but yeah recording volume boost same settings this is just what the Windows 7 app would look like if you can't get the Windows 10 app to install or if you are using Windows 7 so I hope this guides helpful guys um, help you understand how to get the most out of really any speaker audio equipment you know just check those window settings set these default formats as high as you can go and tweak your EQ if you tweak your EQ if you if your app will let you um, that's great Windows will not give you these settings install your Realtek drivers to get some more options you'll need a slightly higher end motherboards to get all these kind of things too Alright guys, I'll catch you later.